Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark from Tech Talk America and today I want to talk specifically to all of you out there who have always wanted to start your own website or blog but you just didn't know how. Today I'm going to cover specifically how to set up your own website hosting and we're going to do it in just 15 minutes or less. You're going to love how easy it actually is. We're going to use a company called Bluehost and I'm going to show you how to set up not only your own hosting but also how to choose a domain name and then how to set up email addresses with that domain. And then we're gonna finish by installing WordPress on your new hosting so you can get rolling with your website or blog today. You're gonna to love how easy it is. So there's just two things you need to do to prepare for this class. Number one, you need to have a credit card ready because when you set up your hosting account, you're going to need to pay for the plan that you would like to use. And the other thing that you need to get ready for is choosing a domain name. Now, Chances are pretty good that whatever first idea you have for a domain name is probably taken already because, for example, I always wanted to buy my own name, markcollier.com, but unfortunately, there's a couple guys ahead of me. There's a famous soap opera star with that same name, I found out, and there's also some magician over in California somewhere that also has that name and uses my domain name that I want to buy. So I had to pick some other things rather than my name, and you probably will too. But get that list together and we'll jump into this class because I want to show you how to set up your website hosting, your domain name, email addresses, and get started with WordPress all in 15 minutes. I'll see you on the other side. So the first thing you want to do is to get to Bluehost's homepage so you can start setting up your new hosting account. We'd be really grateful if you would use the link in the description below the video because that's an affiliate link that Bluehost has provided us that will give us a small kickback to help us continue to make more great videos like this. So when you get to the Bluehost homepage, you're gonna see a green Get Started Now button. So click on that and you'll be taken to the page where you select the plan that you would like to purchase. Now there's a basic, a plus, and a pro plan. And I think the vast majority of you will honestly only need either the basic or perhaps the plus plan. I think for most of you, the plus is actually gonna work really well because that allows you to build multiple websites, have uh, unlimited space for your site, unlimited bandwidth and that kind of thing. So if you're not sure, you can always start with the basic and you can upgrade later, but I think the plus is gonna serve you, uh, most of you the best. So go ahead and click the green button uh, that says select on the plan that you would like to start with. And then you'll be taken to the Sign Up Now page. Now here is where you choose the domain name that you would like to have. If you already have your own domain name, you can start in that box to the right and type that in. And I'm not gonna go over that uh, particular direction now because I think most of you will not already have a domain name. So let's just stick with a new domain box on the left. So type in the domain name that you would like to use and it will let you know if that domain name is available or not. Chances are pretty high that some of your first choices might already be taken, so you might need to be a little creative in thinking of different versions of that domain name that you can use. But keep working on that until you find one that works for you, and then click the blue Next button below, and you'll be taken to the Create Your Account page. Now this one's pretty straightforward, it's self-explanatory for the most part. In the top section, you just fill out your name and business name if applicable, and your address and that kind of thing. And then below that, uh, it has a package information list where you will choose the length of time that you'd like to sign up for, whether it be 12 months or 24 months or 36 months. And you can choose the one that fits your budget best. If you're a first timer, which again, most everybody here probably is, I usually recommend choosing 12 months at first. Uh, although it's a dollar more a month, sometimes uh, that's easier to swallow if you're on a limited budget. Uh, but do what's best for you there because if you can afford the 24 or 36 months, of course, it's going to uh, save you a dollar more per month depending on the level that you choose. Then below that, you see a couple more check boxes like domain privacy, site backup pro, search engine jumpstart, and site lock, site lock security. Uh, now, my recommendation, you can choose whatever you'd like there. The only one that I tend to recommend for clients is the domain privacy protection because what that does for 99 cents a month, that simply hides your contact information from anybody that might be looking to see who has purchased this domain. And I personally like to just not be bothered by folks 
uh, trying to sell me things. So for 99 cents a month, it can protect your uh, privacy on that. Um, it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Uh, Site Backup Pro, I honestly don't recommend that. I would rather do a different backup solution, which I can talk about in another video. Uh, but again, you can choose what you like there. So uh, check which boxes you'd prefer. And then down at the bottom, you'll have your credit card and expiration date and uh, CW2 code. So you can do that and then click the button at the bottom to go to the next page. And then at this point, congratulations, you are done setting up your hosting account with Bluehost. Now here, they're going to try to sell you a couple different uh, additional options, and these might actually suit some of you perfectly well, while others of you don't need them. For the most part, I'll just let you sort those out on your own for now, because I think that most of you probably don't need these additional add-ons. So just go ahead and click no thanks. And then you'll be dropped on this page that says welcome to Bluehost. You will have received probably three or four different emails from Bluehost at this particular point with different uh, sets of information about your new account. And you also need to choose a password for your account. Go ahead and click on the blue button that says create your password. Here you will have two different fields to fill in the password twice just to make sure you get it right. So go ahead and fill in the password that you would like to use. And this is for your hosting account. This is not for the website that you, might sign, uh, that you may set up later. This is a separate password for your hosting account. So make sure that you choose a good one. Don't use anything silly like password or 12345 or anything like that. Pick a good password that is not easily guessed by somebody else. And if you want to, you can choose the suggest password option and it will uh, give you a really great uh, randomly selected password that you could use if you like. But whichever one you choose, do a great password and then click Next. Now that you've created your password, click Log In. And then you'll be taken to what's called the Control Panel or C Panel. And at this point, you are completely done setting up your hosting. So if that's all you'd like to do, you are good to go to start playing with your new hosting account. But I'd like to take just a couple more minutes to show you how to set up an email address and then how to install WordPress on your new hosting account. So if you're interested in either one of those, stick with me and we'll go through those in just a couple of minutes. So if you wanna set up an email account that goes with the new domain name that you just purchased, it's really easy. Go down to the third section where it says email and click on email manager. And here you'll see a link that says create an email account now. So click on that. From there, you'll be taken to this page that's called Set Up New Email Account. Now in that first field, as you probably guessed, you'll type in the name that you would like to use for your email account. You could use your first name or first name and last name. You can use any combination of words that you like. For example, I might use mark at, or I might use hello or info or contact. You can use whatever you like. So just type that into the first field there that says enter name. And then you'll choose a password here. Now remember, this is not gonna be the password for your hosting account. This is gonna be the password for your email account. So again, make it a good one. And if you're stuck and you don't know what to use, you can click the generate password uh, button there. If you'd like to see what you're typing, just click that little eyeball button so you can see. And you'll have to type it twice, so enter password in those two fields. Below that, the next field says default webmail client. Now. Most of you will not hardly ever use this option, but right here it gives you three different uh, webmail clients that you can use. Essentially what that means is that if you ever want to use the internet or the web to sign in to get your email, you're going to use one of these clients to do so. And what you would do is you would type in your domain name, like for example, markcollier.com slash webmail, all one word. And from there, you would log into your webmail using the information that you're just setting up above with your username and your password. And you could get your email through the web if you ever needed to. I rarely, if ever, do this, so you can choose whichever default webmail client you'd like and move on to the next section. The next section below that says mailbox storage. And this is where you choose how much space you're going to allow each email address that you create to have. If you're just creating one for yourself, I recommend just clicking unlimited because you don't really want to necessarily limit yourself. However, if you're setting up email addresses for other people, you might consider limiting them so that they just don't use up tons and tons of space for no reason. So that's up to you. But again, if it's just for you, I would click unlimited mailbox size and then click create and finish. 
Now, if you'd like to set up this email address to be able to be received on one of your devices, like your phone or a tablet or your computer, all you do is click on the email configuration link in the left column. From there, you'll be shown an automatic setup where you can click on the links on the right that correspond with the particular device that you're trying to set up. If for whatever reason you don't want to use those links or perhaps the device you're wanting to set up is not listed there, you can also click on show manual configuration settings below and simply copy down all of that information and then use that to set up your email on whatever device you'd like. Now that you have your email set up, let me show you one more thing. It's really easy to install WordPress on your new hosting account. All you do is go up to the top and click hosting and you'll be brought back to your cPanel. And then the third section down, you'll see a button that says install WordPress. Go ahead and click that and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Now, you can pay Bluehost to set this up for you, but honestly, I don't think you need that because this is really easy to do. Just click the green install button at the top and then it's going to ask you where you'd like to install WordPress to. In most cases, since this is the first time you've set up your hosting, there's only going to be one domain available there to install it to. But if you have other domains that are on this hosting account as well, you can hit the down arrow and choose which domain you'd like to install it to. But of course, for the vast majority of you, it's just going to be the one that you just set up. So simply choose the one you need and then click check domain. Then when it comes back, it's gonna give you two more options. The first box says show advanced options and the next one says I have read the terms and conditions. Go ahead and check show advanced options and then it will give you an opportunity to name your site, change your username and change your admin password. You can change your site name or title anytime whether it be here or inside your WordPress installation later. So you can do it either time. It's easy to do it now because it's in front of you. So if you'd like to give your site a name Go ahead and type it there because that's the information that shows up in the browser tab up at the top. Then your username, it automatically defaults to your email address, but you can change your username to anything you like. Just don't forget it because you'll need that to log in. Next, you can change your admin password because once again, you'll need that. And then check the I have read terms and conditions and then click install now. Now, while your installation is being completed, they're going to show you different options of other things you can purchase, but I recommend that you just pass on this for now and either click the no thanks at the bottom or the X in the top right hand corner. And when that progress bar is done, your WordPress installation is complete. Now that you're done, you can click on the black button at the top that says view credentials. And under there, it's going to show you all of the important information that you'll need to log into your new WordPress website. So that's all it takes to set up website hosting in less than 15 minutes. I really hope today's class helped you. If it did, we'd really appreciate if you click that like button and tell your friends about all the classes we have available at Tech Talk America. We've got hundreds more classes just like this over at our website at techtalkamerica.com. And you can also keep up with our classes right here on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed.